Welcome to this VHF UHF channel and uh, this is a quick video for those that like to chase unusual signals on the um, VHF UHF bands. Um, if you've got an SDR, if you're using a software defined receiver like I'm using the RSPDX here uh, from SDR Play, one of the things that I like to do and this brings really some amazing results if you let it do and let it like that for a while is tune known satellite frequency ranges and just leave the receiver there what's nice with the waterfall is that you have the ability to see whatever will show up so you just you know have to keep an eye on the SDR from time to time and if you see some unusual signal pop up you just click the frequency range so one of the ranges I wanted to talk about is this one here. From about 149, uh, 149 uh, megahertz, 149.910 to 150 to 030. So 149, to 1, um, A little more than 100 kilohertz in size, centered or close to 150 megahertz. There's a bunch of satellites that actually are um, operating there. A lot of them are Russian satellites. There's the Russian navigation satellites um, that are in low Earth orbit, like the Cosmos satellites. That's why when I go to my Orbitron software, you might see here there's Cosmos 2463. Uh, there's another one uh, that's here with Cosmos right here. I tend to try to listen to those Cosmos satellites because they operate around that range. Now, not every Cosmos satellite operates there, but it's worth just tuning around. Um, what does it sound like? I have several videos. If you search the channel for Cosmos satellite, you'll hear several of them that I've heard over time that I posted. But if you listen to shortwave and know what radio teletype sounds like, it kind of is very similar, but it is not radio teletype. It's actually telemetry being sent by the satellite. These are uh, low Earth, what we call low Earth navigation satellites. They're kind of an old style or old school Navy style um, kind of GPS, if you want. Uh, now, these satellites are being phased out slowly, so that means that as time goes by, You'll have less and less to listen to here. But there's still some activity and it's worth it to check it out. And by the way, if you're looking at that weavy signal here, all going crooked, saying, hey, maybe that's a satellite. That's not. That's local interference here. But but um, it's definitely worth, um, you know, tuning in. And what you do is you just look at the frequency range. Keep that range there. And when you see something show up, well, you just click on it there's a good chance you might hear satellites. If you leave your SDR on a full day, you'll hear several of them over time. And there's not just that. There's uh, all sorts of weird things on the 150 megahertz range. It is a range that is um, dedicated solely to the use of satellite signals. So there's not just cosmos. There's weird things sometimes that will pop up. And one of the interesting aspects of this also is to remember that some of the older Cosmos satellites that might have, uh, you know, gone bad or turned off or, uh, you know, broke down, sometimes they come back to life magically and you hear some old satellite from the 19, you know, from the 60s or 70s still in orbit that suddenly comes back to life. So just tune around. But with an SDR, it's really cool. If you don't have an SDR, you're not left out. What you could do is simply tune around from 149900 to 150050. Let's let's put it at 150 kilohertz. Uh, so you know around 150 megahertz. Uh, scan that range. You know it. It actually, if you have limit scan on your scanner, why not uh, just put that range in a limit scan and scan from 149900. To one five zero one hundred, you will also hear stuff in there. Even if you don't have an outdoor antenna, that's also something that a lot of people is like. Well, yeah, but you got an outdoor antenna. It doesn't matter. 
I've heard so many of these satellites just using a rubber duck, a uh, little, you know, rubber ducky antenna that comes with scanners in general. So uh, it's an interesting range. Check it out. Uh, and you might hear some signals from space. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.